Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kamaka Pili. Skies are clearing up. This was from last night, Mauna Kea silhouette. Beautiful shot. Now for tomorrow, what we're going to be seeing is actually better conditions. However, for the island of Hawaii, we may actually be seeing some extra high clouds lingering around as an upper level disturbance passes by. Now we have that low level for our ocean conditions, but we do have a small craft advisory until tomorrow morning at six o'clock. We don't expect that to be extended because our winds are on a downtrend. Now what we can expect in terms of moisture, we're going to be kind of seeing dry conditions. But then some pockets of moisture coming through, some dry, and that's kind of the, the conditions we're going to be seeing. And it's all due really for the windward and Malka sections, but the moisture that will be coming on a pretty consistent basis has to do with the cold fronts. Now, this past cold front that we got, this high pressure system that's really pushing that cold front farther and farther away is also bringing some of that moisture back. So that's going to be continuing to impact the windward sections. And then we have another cold front coming through. This time it doesn't reach the islands, but again, the next high pressure system, which will be rapid our winds back up will then again bring that moisture back towards the islands uh, throughout pretty much most of the week with the exceptions of Monday and Tuesday which are very stable and looking to be beautiful days now in terms of the winds the winds again will be tapering down tomorrow but then because of another high pressure system um, fueling it that will be moving up north that's going to pick up our winds for those two days Monday and Tuesday so expect beautiful conditions for those two days once we get to Wednesday trade winds will be ramping back down because that high pressure system will be moving away yet another one will fill up north will ramp up the winds from Thursday all the way into the weekend. Now, what we've been seeing, we had a lot of moisture the past couple days. Today, may uh, Kauai's seen the most moisture lingering around as the disturbances are clearing out. An upper level disturbance starts to sweep over the island today and will be sweeping over the rest of the island throughout the, the, the evening hours. But aside from that, most of the moisture coming in from the trade winds really was situated on Maui and Hawaii Island. Other than that, we've just been seeing some damp conditions, but nothing like we've seen the past couple days. Now, moving into tomorrow, what we're going to be seeing is drier a trend which will lead to lower chances of rainfall and that's what we're going to be seeing with the exception of Kauai again some lingering moisture for that island now we don't have any advisories for our ocean conditions but we do have a six to nine footers up north and we are going to be having some northwest swells a series of them coming through this week now what we can see again a beautiful week just mix mashing or in terms of when we're going to be seeing those showers most on the windward but then the trade winds that's the good news will be lingering throughout our extended forecast so enjoy it Sam back to you